Hey guys and welcome back. Let's get straight into it. The three things you need to be doing if you want to become a professional footballer. Number one, the best advice that I can give you is learning from the best. If I'm a centre midfield, for example, then I want to learn from the top midfielders. So let me give you an example. David Silva. I go to YouTube, I type in David Silva verse and a big list of his games will come up with all his individual actions for 90 minutes. And this is where you need to really analyse and do your homework. So let's start the analysation. Okay, so we're going to analyse David Silva versus Leicester City. Watch how David Silva lets the ball roll across his body so that the defenders cannot even get near him. If he takes a touch and stops the ball, the defenders can shut him down. Number two, watch how David Silva turns with the ball and accelerates into space. Number three, watch when he's getting shut down by a player, he takes the ball away from the player. And this gives him extra time on the ball. So just from watching one video, we can learn so much. We just analysed it quickly and we found three things to practice on. So you can go to a wall now and practice these. You can make a whole workout from it. So let me show you how. So you should be doing this routine outside. I don't have any options at the moment, so I'm just doing it inside on this wall. The wall's not very good. First one, let it roll across your body. Let it roll and then take the ball. With the left foot, let the ball roll and then take it away. So for the second drill, we're just doing a turn. Again, first touch, take the ball, opening up your body. Second touch, sprinting away with the ball. The other side, first touch and then take the ball and sprint away. You should also be practicing the sprint away with the ball. Not just one meter, but at least a few meters. Okay, the third one is taking the ball away when a defender tries to come at you. So for example, if the player is coming from here, my first touch is going to be away from the player. If he's coming from my left, the first touch is going to be away from the player. So if you're practicing these, you know, 20 turns on each side, three drills, there's 120 passes on the wall, plus many, many turns. I see a lot of people doing individual routines, but it's not very effective because they don't have a clear idea of how to use these skills effectively. And because you just watched the video of how David Silver does it, it's clear where you can use these skills. Also, just remember to write down the moves that you learned from which player and also copy down the video link so you can easily go back to refresh your memory. The second thing is to play more games. More games means more experience in all the situations on the field. Coming from Australia, we don't play as many games as you do in Europe and over the years, this makes a big difference and it adds up. Even if you don't play many games at club level, try to find football games elsewhere. And the thing that you've really got to do after games is analyze your performance. For example, let's just say there was a throw in and I didn't control the ball well and the defender came and cleared the ball. Now you need to go back to step one and look at the top players, how they receive the ball from a throw in and then go practice the way they take down the ball. It's simple as that. Just building on your game. The third thing is research. Research the top advice to looking after your body. Dietary, speed work, agility work, strength work, recovering work. There's so many different aspects that you need to work on as a footballer. You can find so much information out there on the internet, watching players, watching football games, reading books, autobiographies are a big one, 
you know, the top players, they write down their whole life and you can learn so much stuff from it. So there's so much information out there and you've really got to find the best and collect it all together. I've started to make a playlist for you guys and it's a collection of some of the best videos that I've seen so far on YouTube and I will continue to add to it later and it's titled The Best Advice to Become a Professional Footballer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did, comment below if you've got any questions and subscribe if you're new. Until next time guys, cheers and thanks a lot. Ciao.